Okay, everybody, we gotta discuss variable scope. I'll explain local variables and global variables. Local variables are declared inside of a function or block of curly braces, such as within the main function or inside of another function. Global variables are declared outside of all functions. You tend to see them at the top of your program. There are some major differences between the two. Let's begin with local variables. Suppose I have some number, int my num, my num equals one. If I need to display my num, I can use standard output my num. And of course, this will display my num, which is one. Now, what if I have a function to display my num? Void print num. Let's move this line of code to our print num function. I'll need to add a function declaration to the top of my program. Then we will invoke this function, print num. Okay, this isn't going to work, and here's why. My num was not declared in this scope. Functions can't see inside of other functions. My function print num has no idea what this my num variable is. My num is a local variable to the main function. That's why we pass arguments to functions. We'll make the function aware of this value, but you'll need a matching set of parameters. Int my num. Then add that to the function declaration. Int my num. And this would work. That displays the number one. But let's get rid of these parameters. It is legal to reuse the same variable name, as long as it's within a different scope. Within the printNum function, I'll also have a myNum variable that has the same name. But I'll give this a different value. When printing myNum, it prints two. We have two versions of the same variable, and this is fine because they're within different scopes. Now a global variable is declared outside of all functions. You see these at the top of your program. I will declare int my num equals three. I'm going to delete these two local variables. If I was to invoke the print num function and print my num, well then that number is three. This global variable is also available within the main function. So I will print my num here as well within the main function. So we have three and three. It's best to avoid global variables if you can, because it pollutes the global namespace. Also, variables declared within a function are much more secure, because like I said, functions can't see inside of other functions. If we had both local and global variables, my num within the main function will be one, within the print num function it will be two. If I was to display my num for both of these, I'm going to add a new line to each of these new line, and new line. A function will use any local variables first before resorting to any global variables. That's why our print num function prints two and the main function prints one. If you'd rather use the global version, you can use the scope resolution operator. So precede your variable name with two colons. That is the scope resolution operator. I'll do that here as well. In place of using the local version of my num, we will use the global version. And we will print three. We're using the global version of my num instead of the local version. So yeah, that's variable scope. Local variables are declared inside of a function or anytime you see a set of curly braces. A variable declared inside a set of curly braces is hidden to the outside world. A global variable is declared outside of all functions and is accessible to all functions within the program. Like I said, you should try and avoid using global variables if you can, because it pollutes the global namespace, and these variables are less secure. So yeah, that's variable scope. Hey, if you're enjoying this series, let me know by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.